and welcome to this review of Glider by Glue, the company behind titles such as Space Monkey and Cops and Robbers. Glider is the latest in a series of apps such as iSkydive and Biplane that have discovered the potential of a pilot wing star flying game on the iPhone. In Glider, you play the part of Erin, an adventurer who has fallen through a dimensional rift and needs to collect crystals in order to find her way home. Unlike many similar games, there are no bloodthirsty monsters or fanatical hitmen trying to kill you and you can just concentrate on drifting between the well-designed and original game locations. This include caverns, mountains, and even a moving satellite. While not perfect, the graphics are smooth and colourful and fit the game extremely well, as does the well-composed music and sound effects. The game world is currently formed of six beautiful locations, which connect seamlessly and make you wonder why Erin is even trying to get home. Of course, the most important aspect in the game is the flying itself. As would be expected, flight is controlled using the accelerometer, and the game takes into account your speed, requiring you to dive and pick up speed in order to avoid falling from the sky. If you want to gain any altitude, you simply look for a blue arrow in the air that indicates a thermal and use it to get some lift. When you start the game, or when you crash, you find yourself standing atop a golden platform. To jump off and begin gliding, you tap the screen, and then again it's as simple as flying towards the platform. The game is very relaxing, and once you begin there are no loading screens, no time limits and no penalties. You simply fly where you want and complete the tasks at your own leisure. The ultimate aim of the game is to collect each of 225 crystals, discovering new worlds as you go. However, there are also 48 achievements to complete, and for the more competitive players out there, you can complete time runs between colour-coded trip platforms. Glider took me a couple of days to complete, which is more than most games of a similar price, and promises hours of stress-free exploration that's perfect for any journey, or just for playing in front of the TV. The only fault with Glider is that currently there is no way to calibrate the accelerometer for flying. However, this is going to be added with the next update. It would also be nice to have some sort of user profile system, as nothing is more annoying than starting the game only to find out that someone has overwritten all of your progress. Overall, Glider has won the AppSource rating of 9 out of 10, for its relaxing and unique gameplay, great graphics and sound, and brilliantly designed game world. If you're looking for an adrenaline pumping action game, this probably isn't for you, but otherwise with its cheap price, I would say that Glider is a must have for any iPhone owner. This review is brought to you by AppSource. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and feel free to visit our website at www.appsource.tk. AppSource is now recruiting. If you think you have what it takes to make an informed, good quality review, please visit our website and go to the staff page to apply.